Hey y'all. This is some cauliflower I thought out. Come out of my garden last year. And I'm going to be making a, a dish that I think we'll all enjoy. Uh, and the first step is, well of course, thaw it out, rinse it, drain it really good. And then we're going to microwave it in the oven until it's tender with some water and salt. And then I'll show you the next step after it's tenderized. The next step is broccoli. I'm going to salt it. I like to salt mine a little bit and re-salt it later. And then put some water in there. And then cover it, put it in the microwave to soften. We want all this softened. Okay, I'll show you the next step. Drain your cauliflower and mash out some water. Don't over mash because we're going to be using the emulsifier to, to uh, see I'm just barely pressing, pressing the water out. Don't overcook this. It's going to be like, let me show you how soft it is. Okay, still got a little water in there. Get that water out of there. Not too hard now because we're not mashing it yet. We don't want to overcook this, but we want it soft enough it's going to mix up. Okay, let's see how much water we got out there. Look how much water we got out there. That's a lot of water. Now, the next step, let me show you that. Next step, put it in a mixing bowl. This is a whole head. Okay, now you got that in there. It's still warm. It's not blistering hot. I'm melting some butter in the microwave right now. This is about half a stick of butter. Put that in there. I'm going to be using this real crumbled bacon, and I'm going to put some on this paper plate with a napkin. And I'm going to microwave it to get some of the fat out of it. And, okay, is this going to go on it? Okay, now the, the broccoli come out, and you want this broccoli soft so you can kind of smash it down. So microwave until it's pretty well soft so the stem's not too hard. I'm making two, so it's a handful for each one. That's what I'm using. You can use use any kind of bacon. It needs to be crumbled, though. I'm going to put this in the microwave to heat it some. Next, before we add our sour cream, we don't want to make sure we don't get it this too runny so we got our half a stick of butter in there and a whole head of cauliflower <coughs> I'd put this in the microwave for a minute then I'm gonna put it in my freezer so I want it to cool down so I can be able to get it on my fingers without hurting myself okay so next, we're going to add our sour cream, but we're going to check to make sure if it, uh, how wet it is. The wetter it is, the less sour cream you put in it. Yeah. So let's get our sour cream in there. I'm adding two. Two tablespoons. Okay. Now mix that up with your, with your stick blender. Salt and pepper to taste. Drain and smash your broccoli gently. Not smashing hard because I don't want them to go through those holes down there. Just, this helps get the water out and you're not having to use a paper towel. Next step, take my bacon out. It's cool enough. I can touch it without it hurting me. It's still a little warm. 
Doesn't have to be up there in the freezer very long. Okay. Now, next step, we're going to make a, a round circle patty on, on a plate. Okay. We put this much on a plate. It's a small plate. This, it's a, I guess I call it a salad plate. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your bacon on. Because you don't want your bacon falling off. So you're going to put your bacon on there. Little or, little or as much as you want. I measure out like a handful for each person. Because this is protein. And this is keto friendly. That I'm doing here. If you love your mashed potatoes, you're going to love this. Oh, I forgot. I usually put a little garlic in this, but I'm not going to because this this flavor is pretty good. You can add garlic powder if you want. Okay, that's pretty good. It's fully covered except for the edges. I don't usually do the edges. I'll put a little bit more. Oh, almost lost it. Okay. You go to the edge as far as we can without it falling off. And then next, you're going to put your broccoli on top. Put your broccoli on top. Smash it with your finger. So it'll be spread out some. So you don't want to get a big, you know. You don't want it real hard. Still a little hot. I didn't bother to rinse it or anything, but kind of break it up. You don't really want to get a hold of one that's big. You want to break it up. Smash it. Break it up. Okay, when you got all your broccoli on there. Then we're going to top it with some cheese. I'm using this Kobe Jack. Put as much cheese as you like. I like a lot. Next thing, it's going into the microwave. And we want to cover it. If you have one of these dome things, we want to cover that. And then you're just going to do it for like a minute and minute and a half depends on your wattage in your microwave i hope y'all will try this use it for an entree you could split it if it's too much put it with other meals or just eat it i'm just going to eat this because i got the bacon on there so i'm getting my protein and i uh it's a little high in carbs with, I mean, I got uh, two vegetables on there. So, I mean, you got your cauliflower and you got your broccoli. This is so good. Let me cut into it. Let's cut into it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my word. That's going to be so good. Me taste. Ah, hot y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Boy, is that good. Mmm. I hope y'all will make this. Enjoy. Bye.